are live and direct at the Indigo O2 where tonight we've got the fabulous Marcia Griffiths on stage alongside the Royal Family Morgan Heritage. And what a night of splendour it is. And remember, it's Daddy Ernie on View Now TV. Reggae chat. lady of reggae music after another stunning and brilliant performance here at the Indigo 2. Marsha, London is very much your hometown. Very much so and I love London and the fans just as much as I think they love me. I mean, been, how long have you been coming in now, Mas? Wow, I can't count. <laughs> Since 1970. From the young, gifted and black. Gifted and black. Open your heart to what I mean. In the whole world, you know. There's a million boys and girls. Who are young, gifted and black. And that's a fact. That's, that's right. right. Right through to your that's own right, as that's well. right. And I mean, 2013, in your wildest dreams, did you ever think that you'd be going on so long? I never had this vision. I mean, I never had a dream that I would be here 2013, still going strong, sharing stage with the younger artists. I mean, it's amazing, it's awesome, and I love it. I mean, looking back on, on your career, is there anything that really stands out in your mind? I mean, there's been some fantastic moments. One that springs to my mind is, is the Hammersmith Odeon when you was there with Bob as a member oh, of the High Threes. Those were some special moments that will never, ever leave my mind and my heart because, you know, especially not having Bob here in physical, I'll always remember some moments. Every time I come into London, I, there are some moments that I will always relive where touring with Bob and I3 is concerned. You know, because I remember at the Hammersmith and I remember all the special moments in England, even at uh, number one Harrington Gardens. Mm -hmm. You know, those are some special, very special moments for me. You know, and even, you know, before that with the, the big hit Young Gifted and Black and that as well, as a young girl coming to town, I mean... It has been a magnificent journey. I remember when Bob came here first, he came back to Jamaica and he said, Marcia, I'm the bigger England, you know. That time he was just coming to, to England and he came here. And when I came back with him now on his first tour in England, Boneham, some of the girls from Boneham were at the show and they were saying to Bob, Bob, you know that you have a star here back in because we had already at this hit young gifted and black. black with Bob Andy. Mm. You know, those moments are just so wonderful. Beautiful. So we fast forward now to the uh the twenty first century. Twenty first. Um a lot of young artists, we you know, um both male and female, you know, we've got the likes of Atana um coming along. But still yet they can't shift Marcia. What 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 is the, the secret to the longevity? Well longevity is a lot of things and it's not just being able to go in the studio and record. It has a lot to do with your thoughts and the way you take care of yourself. Because if your heart is not, your thoughts are not clean, because I usually tell people that what is on the outside is a reflection of what is in the inside. And uh, the longevity is just being able, I am enthused, I love the music, and I think it was ordained by Almighty God for me to be a part of this music he gave me the talent and uh, i just want to continue to spread the word and touch souls 
throughout the universe, which no doctor in the universe can do. Mm. But one of the main things I do is always recording with younger artists. They are always happy to record with me. And it's a wonderful feeling both ways for me to be recording because my latest CD is Marcia Griffiths and Friends and the Friends of course you know they yeah, are I mean, all they're all they're they got busy signal uh, in China of course Butcher stuff that you record Queen I Free Catania Stevens just about everyone Gentleman Richie Stevens everyone I mean what's it like for you because they probably look on you now as, a, as an elder, because they call me an elder as well. Of course, I'm <laughs> proud. I am very proud. I would not trade my age if I could be 16 again and relinquish all my memories and my experience. I would keep being my age. I would never want to erase the memories because this generation will never ever see and experience what I have experienced and seen. Mm -hmm. So how's the album being received? Beautiful, very, very beautiful. Um, as a matter of fact, it's doing very, very well because each track is with a different artist and you find that it's a variety and people might like a busy signal or a devil or a freddie mcgregor or whoever so each track i think is a hit song on its own and one of the track that was number one is the rhythm of a role okay yes because it has a strong a message, message. Yeah. yeah 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 and you're still currently working with germain as well oh yes he's celebrating 25 years too uh, a, ve a very special chemistry so we're going to get an, uh, a, a marcia griffith album an uh, individual album, just Marcia Griffiths. Well, let me tell you, next year I'm celebrating 50 years. Wow. You must come to London for that. Yes, definitely. We have a lot of plans and London is a part of it because London to me is home away from home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So are we going to, what, we're going to get a 50th anniversary album? Yes. More, we discussed that already, Jeremy and myself. All right. Well, we're, we're, we're going to be looking forward to that, Marcia. Yeah. You know, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Same here. You know, we could you're to always my favorite. <laughs> always. Hey, you're now watching View Now TV. Leave it right where you got it. Marcia Govis said that. Ready, Ready. Jump, jump. of royalty here at the Indigo O2. After a five years hiatus, they are back with a tremendous album. Here comes the Kings. Here comes Morgan Heritage. Ladies first, Yuna. How you doing, Daddy Ernie? <laughs> I'm not bad. Back after making some babies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only three, not a lot, but yes, I am back. And it's such a pleasure to be back with my brothers in London, with the U in UK, with all our fans. I tell you, we love it, you know. We love the UK, man. Come on, let me
I missed it a lot. I miss Harrods too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we miss the England, the British Jamaican food. So. Oh, okay. You okay, know, I hear miss you. Miss you too. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and if I can come to Mojo, we we kind of he loves the phone. I'm trying to work out between you and your brother Gramps, mm -hmm. who loves the phone more. Because anywhere you're in the Gramps. world, Gramps. And, and and you you get more than heritage anywhere in the world. Yeah, technology is great. Give thanks for you know innovation and inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> and Gramps, you know you you you're not really inconspicuous. You you know anywhere, anytime. Always. I, I, Do you ever sleep? Uh, sometimes. So the great king of the dance hall, being a man, once said, "Didn't have time to sleep." And I remember one time we was in the airport and was flying out. Beanie man flew in and went right to departures and flew out. And we said, where are you going? He said, I have a next show. So much respect to him. He was one of our greatest influence when it comes to hard work and perseverance. So I, I'll never forget that. And I think it was about 99 and was going to a show flying overseas from Jamaica. And so you, you, you sleep when you get the time, but this work is ever ongoing. It's nonstop. And Peter, You've been you've been very busy. You got this song with Irie Love yes. called "Let It Fly." Yes. Where where was that recorded? Don't tell me that was recorded in Hawaii. No, actually it wasn't. <laughs> no, nah, it actually was recorded uh, at my house. Actually, yeah, it was after a tour, um, and she was living here in in London for a while. And uh, she came over, she called and said, "There's this track that we got from producers from our uh, France, uh, Boston Bim." And she sent it to me, and I said, I'm good, I'm ready. And she said, she's coming over to the U.S., so if I can make time, made the time. She came to my house in, in the States, and we did. It was like, we took a whole day and was just vibing it, wrote it, and it just it came out wonderful. I mean, you know, the last five years hasn't been wasted. You know, you've, you've done a solo project. Gramps has done a solo project. Yuna? Yes? Did you do a solo project? I, I am still working on it, as a matter of fact. Got oh. some singles I got there. some singles out I do have some singles out there. One produced by Lenky called Ladies. Mm -hmm. Big up to all my ladies every time. Girl, who run the world? Girls. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's... It <laughs> <laughs> my brother Gramps is funny, yeah, as you all can yeah, tell. But um, it, it, I, I am working on the album, and it is called Just Me. <laughs> and the reason why I called it Just Me, that was some controversial stuff right there, is because it's, it's, all, it's all different kinds of music, and that's what influences me from hip-hop to jazz to R&B. As my brothers know, I'm the biggest hip-hop fan. Ooh. So that, that's what makes up Yuna, and that's what everybody's going to be able to see just a different side and it's just me take it or leave it you know and, and your your um solo projects were, were very experimental to say mm. a lot of guitar work and a lot of what was going on there now i'm influenced by alternative music um in the early 90s i was introduced to nirvana hendrix um aerosmith hootie and the blowfish cranberries you know clapton and uh, they influenced my songwriting. So um, on my EP, Got Mojo, which is what you're referring to, that's available, came out about four years ago. Um, I paid ode to the legends of reggae and alternative music, because people don't know this, but our experience doing the Warp Tour in America in 01 and 02 made us realize that punk rock music, rock and roll music, a lot of those revolutionaries, you know, when you look at people like Bob Dylan, they had a message. They had a message, so it's it's important for people to understand that the synergy between the two musics is is a reality, and that's why we have a similar fan base. When you look at, you know, Bob Marley touring with the Clash and Peter Tosh touring with the Stones, you know, Black Uhuru touring with the Stones, the history is there and, and where those two worlds meet. So it's just me being who I am, like you know, is, is, is discussing, and that's what we all bring to the unit, Morgan Heritage. That experimental vibe that you hear in our solo projects is what makes us who we are together. So here we are, back in 2013 now. Here comes the King the Album. Here yeah, we are, baby. Oh, na 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 na. Baby, oh, na na na. Just one touch, one kiss from your lips. It's heaven, yeah. Loving you is like the perfect love song. You know the one that you always want to hear. And when my day is going on, Simmy, simmy. I knew where you put it by me when you get 
me, give me Have some love when they find your blaze, you see me see Now I'm gonna see me roam round like I'm a gypsy Yeah, like a piece to a pot, queen to a king, bullet to a gun What they got in common is they all belong together And it's made me realize, realize the love of you is not the first Very interesting. The message is still the same now. Straight. You can't stray from the message. The message is love, um, unit, unity, understanding how to deal with each other as humanity. And that's equality and justice, always. That's what we fight for, that's what we live for, and that's what we proclaim. You know, we, we always say that reggae sort of um, as a foresight, you know, and I, and I hear this track, Holla Holla, mm. on there, which is. It's just dropped at the right time with what's going on in America and everything. What's the inspiration behind that? Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, when Obama won his first term of election, you know, the face of America changed. You know, I mean, it's still what it is. America still has its issues. But, you know, finally there's been a colored man, a black man, in the White House. You know, we all know the history. Our black people build the White House, but we've never been the ones to be the major residents in the White House. I mean, you do have black people working in the kitchen and all these places in the White House, but to be in the Oval Office, to be in the president's bedroom, it's the first time. You know, so we say, you know, we, we, we go from slaves to the highest position in the land, you know, which is commander in chief. You know, so big up to the president, Barack Obama, for inspiration. And of course, the love songs are on there as well, Graham. So I think you might have had a little bit to say about that perfect love song. And my favourite, Call On Me, which has got the Don Corleone flavour on it. Yeah, um, it's always a child. As people know, you know, our father has 30 children. So we didn't just <laughs> appear out of... He's gone up? Yeah, no, he's still at 30. But we didn't just appear out of nowhere. You know, we didn't kabam, kaboom, shabam. He made love, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, of course, we have to speak about these things. They're one of the biggest misconceptions that rust on a love woman are, we, you know, but we try to do it now way that it's uplifting and appreciative of woman and try to say like you have songs like she's still loving me um songs like best friend that that is like a, a fiction story a lot of people be like oh if i story that mm -hmm. you know like i won't get in trouble with best friend and get that no it's just a drama like me i always tell people arnold schwarzenegger is not the terminator in real life so it's art you're not gonna see Arnold Schwarzenegger on tear him skin and there's steel under there no it's art so when we write a song we try to make it about like a story so it's interesting than just baby I love you walking on the beach there's drama in love so love songs is one of the things that we love to write the most mm -hmm. yeah. and the girl is mine uh, you know Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney's yeah. favorite song there yeah. was he a bit apprehensive in doing that it's a little bit straying off of the Morgan Absolutely vibe not. no way well the producer called Peter Jason Farmer and um, Kimani Mali's musical director and said I have a song when you hear it are you and your brother have to sing that song yeah? And then Peter come and say, yo, yo, <laughs> yeah, for hear this. And I said, what? Which, pro which producer that now? Because he's putting together the album. It was very conspicuous about which songs got making a comeback in five years. You got to know what you're doing. And Peter said, yo, listen to it. Trust me. Michael Jackson, the Honorable Paul McCartney, was like, this is perfect. It fits the album. It's tribute to Michael Jackson, mm. and it's a classic song. And when we heard it, we did our little spin with a little DJ part at the end, and Peter just was like, "Yo, we have to do that song, yeah." Mm. So it, it just worked out to be perfect. A lot of new producers as well on the album. I know you're heavily in that department as well. How difficult it was to choose because there's a load of producers in Jamaica. How difficult it's to choose the one that fits with what you're doing. I mean, when you look in Jamaica, you can see a certain, you know, handful of young producers trying to maintain the essence of roots reggae music. You know, we talk about youths like, like Riff Raff. We talk about Shane Brown from Jukebox Production. You know, and I, the, working with like TJ and 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 Jason Farmer. Those are things that came through our solo projects, riffraff through our solo projects. So, you know, it was important for us to bring all of our experiences from our solo projects back into, you know, the return of Morgan Heritage. So that's what, you know, contributes to 
the variety of producers you see on the album. And just on a on final note, you know, was there any doubt, you know, when the decision was made for you to go your separate ways, so to say, for five years, was there any doubt that you might come back and it might not be the same vibe? No, oh, not at all. Not at all, Ernie. Um, it was a dream for our father, actually, for us to take that break, to, for us to all develop. And then as parents, we had, we spent a lot of our adult lives on the road and we were having these children and a lot of the key time of their lives we were missing and we had to make a conscious decision to say you know what we have to really put some time in our children and during that time inspiration hit us grams and two very successful solo albums peter mojo with his ep i got into another some other business ventures outside of music so it, it was all divinely ordained and when noah said what you put together let no man put us on the so we knew it was gonna come back together we didn't know the time but the fans called it and it was time we back to our day job Daddy Ernie. Yeah, all right. Well, it's always a pleasure talking to the royal family of, of reggae music, Morgan Heritage. The album's been well received here in the UK. I know it will be across the world as well. And uh, you're going, you're embarking on a tour in the UK. You've done Europe. So um, come back and see us soon, maybe. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, man. If thanks and peace. Nice shirt, nice and beautiful outfit. <laughs> <laughs> blessings, blessings. If thanks. Thanks for having us, brother. ViewNowTV.com with the Royal Family Morgan Heritage here. Blessed Love Massive. This, this is, is Morgan, Morgan Heritage. Heritage. And right now you're watching ViewNowTV.com. Keep it locked. It's hot. Heritage said that. Blessed. Rockers. Red 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 so there you have it, the station that brings you the stars and has the right vibrations. ViewNowTV.com. Daddy Ernie live from the Indigo O2. Here out. <laughs> Ready, jump, jump.